today is day one of week two on the Nutrisystem basic plan, which I've been following. So I decided that um, more or less I really was desiring a shake. So I decided I would have, this is considered a power fuel. It's 80 to 100 ca 120 calories. This particular shake here is 120 calories, even though it's 150 if you put two scoops. Um, I just weighed out 31 grams, and that's 120 calories. It has a lot of protein, 30 grams per serving, 2 grams of fat, and 2 carbs. So this is a power fuel, according to the plan. So I'm having that, and what I did is, I apologize for my fingers, I added a cup of water, and four ice cubes, just the same way I did when I used the uh, probiotic shakes from Nutrisystem. I put a cap full of the Watkins pistachio. I put 10 drops of this Hobbyland candy flavoring, which I got on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description box for that. And then I sprinkled in some cinnamon. To me, this tastes like cannoli cream. That's what I was going for with that flavoring, and that's why I did it, and I really enjoy it. Um, I'm having my first water there, and in the water this morning, I put the um, Key Nutrition Electrolytes because I was feeling that I needed it. I don't have it every morning. I used to, but now I just have it when I need it, and it works fine for me. I'll put the link to that. It's an Amazon product, or I bought it on Amazon, I should say. In the, I'll put the link in the description box if you're interested in checking it out. Okay, I uh, will see you. Um, this is not my breakfast, so I'll be back. For my breakfast this morning, I am having the Nutrisystem Maple Brown Sugar Oatmeal. I added four ounces of skimmed milk uh, to complete the recipe, and I microwaved it for one and a half minutes and then I stirred it and then I put it in for another one and a half minutes. It says microwave on medium to three, uh, two and a half to three minutes. I also did add Call Me Crazy, but I, I watch all different kinds of people on all different kinds of diet plans. And on Chew on Vegan, uh, Debbie Chu mentioned that if you want to add a vegetable in with your carb in the morning or your breakfast, that you you can add a half cup of cooked cauliflower to your oatmeal and I've tried it before it's not my first one and I found it to be very good I couldn't taste the cauliflower but again if you don't like cauliflower you really hate it it might not work for you so this breakfast has 150 calories it has two grams of fat half gram of saturated fat 28 carbohydrates and three grams of dietary fiber and four grams of protein. I also drizzled over top um, the Great Value sugar-free pancake syrup, and two tablespoons of this has 15 calories, so this does not count, because I only used one. So it doesn't count as an extra, it just counts as zero. I will see you all in my next video. Hello my friends, it's lunch, and today I'm having this is one cup of cooked Wellesley brand frozen Asian vegetables. And over top of that, I put a tablespoon of the GU's teriyaki marinade. And this marinade is only five calories per tablespoon. And so it does not count for anything. It doesn't count for a, uh, an extra. I'm having the Nutrisystem three cheese chicken for lunch. I tasted the sauce, it tastes pretty good. And let me show you. It's 200 calories for the container, which is 48 grams plus four ounce, five ounces of water that gets added. Let's see, it's five grams of fat, 1.25 grams of saturated fat it's 29 grams of carbs, four fibers, and 10 protein. This container, you put, you shake it up, you 
take the lid off, you put five ounces of the room temperature water, you, you microwave for a minute and a half, then you take it out, you start, and then you put, you stir it before you put in the microwave. You take it out, you stir it again, and seal it with aluminum foil and let it sit for five minutes. And believe it or not, it worked. Okay, I'll catch you at, um, if I have an afternoon snack, if not, I'll see you at dinner. For tonight's dinner, I'm going to be having the vegetarian lasagna. And it's over a half cup of cooked cauliflower rice. You can see the rice there somewhere over here. Here you go. And I added some of my own marinara sauce on top, my homemade one. And I did season it with the usuals, onion powder, garlic powder, and the Viva Pizzeria from Spice Beast. I also put a half teaspoon of my own grated um, Pecorino Romano on top and that doesn't count for anything because the tablespoon is 25 calories so it's I'm good to go on that I will now tell you the nutritional facts of the vegetarian lasagna one package is 227 grams 220 calories seven grams of fat three and a half grams of saturated fat 30 grams of carbs there's three grams of fiber and 10 grams of protein. I cooked this in its container in the microwave for a minute and a half. Okay, on to what I'm having for my dessert, as I call it. It's supposed to be the afternoon snack. Um, this, as you can see, is very nutty and kind of caramelly it looks. Um, it's let me see, 40 grams in weight, put it that way for you, and I'll show you the, it's called the um, Sweet and Salty Nut Bar, which I have not tried yet, but I am looking forward to it. And the nutrition facts are, as I said, 40 grams in weight, 180 calories, 11 grams of fat, 2.5 or saturated fat. And we have total carbs is 17, fiber is five, protein is eight grams. So that does it for today. And I'm going to go enjoy my dinner. And I think I'm done for the day. If anything, I'll have a cup of my uh, vegetable soup that's still cooking on the stove. But other than that, I think I'm done. I just need to finish my water. Um, once again, thank you very much. I so much appreciate that you're stopping by to watch my video. And if you wouldn't mind hitting a like, the thumbs up, this, the thumbs up, if you like the content and the bell for the subscribe so that you can see my videos anytime they come on. Thank you very much again, and I'll see you in the next video. So I finished my meal and I've discovered that I'm still hungry right now. I ate about an hour ago, so I decided that I was going to try out my new non-starchy vegetable soup, which is free on Nutrisystem and Weight Watchers and probably many other uh, diet plans. So I'm going to go enjoy this and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks again for watching and for giving me a thumbs up if you like the content. Of my videos and for subscribing so that you don't miss out when I load them up. Thanks again. Today is day two of week two for me. I have been increased to 1200 calories from a thousand. And this is my breakfast for today. It is the upside down, I apologize. The Harvest Nut Oat Bar. The Oat Bar is 40 grams. It has 160 calories, 22 carbs, two fibers, and seven grams of protein. It's very dense. Um, 
and chewy looking, which is what it's described properly, I guess, because it says it's chewy. And along with that, I'm going to have my premier protein shake. 30 gram, one grams of a serving is 120 calories. I just mixed it with water in the Nutribullet. And that's my second water for today that I'm working on. See you at lunch. Okay, so here we are, it's lunchtime. And today I'm having the white bean chicken chili. And it's cover, it's over top of a cup of the rice cauliflower. This is my third water of the day. And this is the non-starchy vegetable soup that I made last night that has cabbage in it. And that's measured out to a cup, which is gonna equate to two vegetables for me. And I topped it off with a quarter teaspoon of grated cheese because I cannot eat that, anything saucy or soupy without it. Just about. Okay, this is the container for the white chicken chili. And the nutritional facts are it's 180 calories, it's 201 grams in weight, six, six fat grams, two and a half saturated fat grams, and 20 grams of carbohydrates, three grams of dietary fiber, and 12 grams of protein. I'll see you at dinner. I just wanted to pop back on real quick to give you an update on what I think about the white bean chicken chili. Definitely a game changer to put it over a cup of the cauliflower rice. Last time I think I had it with peppers and zucchini and it just, it, it, it was just too much heat. But this time around I really enjoyed it. As you can see, there's none left. See you at dinner. For my dinner tonight, I'm having the Nutrisystem mac and cheese with turkey sausage entree. It is eight ounces. It has 240 calories, eight grams of fat, three and a half grams of saturated fat, 26 grams of carbohydrate, three grams of fiber, 16 grams of protein. I paired it with these car canned carrots that I sauteed uh, in a frying pan with some olive oil spray and I put some cinnamon and some swerve brown sugar substitute. I also sprinkled a little bit of this, the grill mates, smokehouse maple seasoning onto the carrots. To the mac and cheese, I added my usual, the garlic powder and the onion powder just to kind of kick it up a notch. This is what the mac and cheese box looks like. It's a shelf stable food and I'm, it smells really good and I'm looking forward to eating it. I had all of my water for the day and all of my veggies. This, these carrots are actually two extra veggies because that's a cup's worth and they're cooked. On to my dessert. This is what it is, chocolate flavored pretzels. And this package is 30 grams. It has 140 calories, six grams of fat, four and a half grams of saturated fat, 18 carbs, three diet, grams of dietary fiber, and five grams of protein. These are really good. I enjoyed them last time, and I'm looking forward to them as well tonight. On that note, I'll see you all in my next video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoy my content, and subscribe so that you see uh, get the notification every time I upload a video. See you next time.